Hi, my name is Dr. Ed Shahady, and we're here in Las Vegas at the Carter Metabolic Risk uh, Summit, and I'm with Dr. Lou Koritsky. Uh, Lou, you gave a, a very nice workshop on statin toxicities, and a couple of things I'd like to ask about. One is diabetes and statins. Do I need to worry about if I'm giving a patient a statin that they'll develop diabetes? Well, I think your worries are founded, but the risk is small. It, back in 2010, the first concrete commentary came out suggesting that perhaps for one in every 250 patients we would give a statin to, right. that we would get new onset diabetes. Right. More recently that's been revised and the number is even smaller, one in 500. Mm -hmm. Probably the most important thing to remember is that even though there is a very small risk of new onset diabetes actually mm -hmm. induced by the statin, that is so far outweighed by the cardiovascular risk reduction of the statin that it should not change clinical practice at all. Another insight that I think will help to reassure clinicians is that the majority of the folks who did get new onset diabetes mm -hmm. were actually pre-diabetic when they yes. started the statin. Yes. Yes. So it may not really be that the statin is so much causing diabetes as accelerating that process for people who are going to go from pre-diabetes to diabetes anyhow. Thank you, Lou, but it's very helpful, very insightful. Uh, the other concern I have, you know, when statins first came out, you know, we, 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 we got liver function studies, and when we started them, we got every two or three months, and if they got elevated, we stopped the statin. So what's the status of that? Well, I'm very glad that the FDA has changed the labeling and to uh, actually indicate to us that we get baseline liver function tests and persons with very active liver disease greater than three times the upper limit of normal of LFTs probably should not start as that until their liver quiets down some. But what was recognized is that the elevations in LFTs we saw in clinical trials were actually just as frequent on, in people on placebo right. and that they were transient and not really meaningful. Right. So the most recent labeling has given us the green light. You should get them at baseline, but there's no reason for further monitoring because any liver toxicity induced by statins is idiosyncratic and does not appear to be in any way predictable. There's no reason to burden a patient with frequent blood testing or concern them that maybe they shouldn't or couldn't take a statin because of the LFT. So that's a very refreshing step forward, I think. Okay, great. You know, the other one that you were seeing on TV, it aches and pains with statins. So, should that worry me? Should I do something special? Should I be getting special tests on patients? What do what, what those aches and pains mean and what, what should I do about it? Most of the experts believe that the pain induced by statins is related to depletion of coenzyme Q. Mm -hmm. And it's been known for a long time that the mechanism by which statins work also does influence generation of coenzyme Q. Now what to do about that? Well fortunately, at the currently recommended doses of most statins, only a minority of folks are going to get myalgias anyhow, less than 10%. So it's an infrequent problem. Point number two is there has been some suggestion that there are groups which are especially sensitive to myalgias, including folks with moderately depleted levels of vitamin D. So there's a suggestion that perhaps repletion of vitamin D could either be preventive or therapeutic if your person got myalgias. Number two is that there's some people who seem to get better with repletion of coenzyme Q. And then finally, Persons who get it with one statin don't necessarily get it with another, so it's worth a trial of a different statin to see if that one would be better tolerated. And then finally, just because your patient gets myalgias on a statin doesn't mean that the statin was the cause. There's lots of other causes of myalgia other than statin toxicity. Very helpful, Dr. Kurisky. We appreciate your being with us. Thank you.